Top Glove Corporation Berhad expects to see an improvement in its business in 2015, with a 10% growth in sales and profit. The projection was made on the back of the stronger US dollar, which has helped to bring down raw material costs. The company posted a net profit of 49 million ringgit for the first quarter of the 2015 financial year. This is an improvement of 5.6% quarter on quarter, but down 3% when compared to the 50.3 million ringgit net profit reported for the same quarter of 2014. Conversion from the use of natural rubber gloves to nitrile gloves saw a 4% hike in sales volume in nitrile gloves, while demand for powder-free latex slipped by 6%. Company chairman Tan Sri Lim Wee Chai said, as 80% of the company's sales are exposed to the US dollar, the strengthening dollar has lowered its costs. Managing director Lee Kim Miao, meanwhile, noted that when other foreign currencies weaken, small-scale glove importers face higher costs, thereby flushing them out of the market. Because of the currency fluctuations, uh, the cost of importing gloves will be higher because they have to come up with more currency, uh, their local currency, to support their importation of gloves. So this has an indirect effect of flushing out some of those uh, fly-by-night uh, importers. Uh, or rather, those importers that maybe import a container or two, try their luck to see whether the business is worth doing and if it's not worth doing, they would uh, move on to some other type of business. So increasingly, we are seeing that more serious inquiries, more serious uh, purchases coming in. While falling rubber price had given its latex rubber gloves stronger margins, the positive impact was limited as cost saving was passed down to customers amid a competitive market environment. The company has also benefited from plunging crude oil prices, particularly in the US, due to improved consumer sentiments. In view of that, Lee hopes to see a reduction in natural gas prices. Aside from that, sales volume in surgical gloves soared by 107% over the year after the company secured lucrative tenders in the Middle East, Africa, Latin America and through the United Nations. However, such growth will fall back to normal levels once the orders are delivered. Automation and its packaging has also slashed production costs. Speaking to reporters at Top Gloves' annual general meeting, Lim hopes to grow the company's nitrile gloves market share from 18 to 25 percent. The company is the world's largest rubber glove manufacturer with a 25 percent share of the global market, which it hopes to raise to 30 percent by 2020. Jacqueline Peng, DHTV.